going on boxing fans, it's Julian Williams with the Distance and I'm back with another top 5 series for this week. My top 5 series for this week is my top 5 matchups for 2009. You know, um, you know a lot of good matchups in 2009, I expect more good matchups in 2010. You know, but anyway on to the first matchup, my number 5 for this week. Rogers and Tagua versus, not your Yoki Zambo, but um, Juan Manuel Lopez. You know, overall, this was a great, a great fight. You know, because you know a lot of people, including myself, thought Juan Manuel Lopez would you know just dominate the fight and probably get the knockout, maybe by like round five or six. You know, a lot of people, including myself, thought that was going to be the case, but it wasn't. It ended up being a, a real slugfest. You know, a lot of people, including myself, didn't take into consideration that. Lopez has never been had never been past the twelfth round in his career. You know, most of his fights, you know, were ending you know, were ending early. Until, you know, he fought Jerry Penalosa back in April. And when he fought Penalosa, you know, that went to like the eighth or ninth round. You know, a lot of people were you know, were on one Lopez to get um to get his rec to get this record of getting like I believe three or four straight knockout victories in the first round to um beat Mike Tyson's record for being, you know, a champion, accomplishing that feat. You know, but unfortunately he didn't against Penalosa. And Penalosa was an overall good match. And and another dude, um his last name started with a L like Lonky or Launch D or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um you know he had and you know he got that knockout in like the ninth round. So well, anyway, on to the matchup. And Tago was a good, tough, rugged opponent. And, and I think in a way, Lopez kind of underestimated him. A lot of people underestimated him. Um, but he was tough and rugged. He had a matchup against, I believe his name was Tomas Villa. And he had almost knocked him out. And, you know, and Tago came back and, and um, beat him in like the 11th or 12th round, knocked him out. You know, after you know being in trouble and being hurt and being tired, came back and won the fight, and you know that said a lot. And I think that could have been a determining factor of Aaron picking Mtagwa for the matchup. You know, but you know the matchup started out. You know, um, Lopez came out. You know, and actually boxing was on his toes, jabbing and stuff. And I was a little surprised because I thought that Lopez was just a big puncher when I first saw him. But you know, he was on his toes. You know, he's he wasn't necessarily jabbing, but he was, you know, he was throwing a lot of straight shots, like straight right hands, straight left hands, and just moving around and away from Mtagwa. And, you know, he, and Mtagwa couldn't even answer back, you know, when Lopez was boxing against him. And I was a little surprised that Lopez was boxing, and rounds went by, and Lopez was, you know, had a lot of early rounds in the bag, and Mtagwa was, has always been kind of a fighter that's built up. You know, built up in the later rounds, especially if he got a rhythm, and he kind of started to find that rhythm in like round five, round five or six. I remember I had a scorecard for the fight, and um, he started to kind of build build up a little momentum, and I remember that um, there was a round, I believe it was round ten, when they just when everything started to go all out, and the and um yeah everything just started to go all out and Tago was just landing his shots like from rounds like 10 through 12 I believe I scored for him Tago I didn't go back and look at the video I look and you know apparently didn't look at my old car but you know I think and I could and you could probably say round nine as well because Tago was just landing shots at will and Lopez you know I guess in, in a way has never been that type of fight, but it was just action packed. Both of them were landing big shots in the later stages of the fight. But the one round that stood out to me was the 11th round, and it, and it made me make this fight my number five. It was the 11th round, and the 11th round was when um both of them were exchanging shots, and Lopez actually got hurt. You know me, I've never seen Lopez get hurt before. You know, I, I've never seen him hurt. I never, I actually never seen him down. And but um, Mtagwa was landing some big shots. You know, um, Lopez was apparently tired, and Lopez was apparently tired, and you know he was getting a lot of shots. 
you know, um, Mutago was landing a lot of shots, and you know, at the end of the round, you know, it looked like Lopez was going to go down. It looked like it was going to be an upset in New York that night. You know, just by how Lopez looked, and like in the last 10 seconds, I thought Mutago was going to knock him out and knock him out easily. I mean, not easily, but knock him out and knock him out senseless. I thought that was going to happen because it looked like from how Lopez looked it looked like he wasn't going to get up from those from those shots from those um those wild wide shots that Mtog went through so you know um it was like it was one of those things where he was saved by the bell because if it would have went like three or four more seconds then he would have went down and I remember Lopez was barely able to get to the corner was barely able to get to the corner and Tagua, you know, still had some energy, you know, still, um, and he looked determined to knock him out in the 12th. And unfortunately, you know, for Tagua, you know, he didn't knock him out in the 12th round. And Lopez won, you know, uh, won a decision, you know, and overall it was a, it was a good fight, it was an exciting fight, it was a big test for the career of Juan Manuel Lopez, you know, and... And Tagua, you know, he's getting another opportunity this weekend against your York. I mean, not this weekend, next weekend against your York is Gamboa. So, you know, overall, it was a great matchup. It was action packed, and that 11th round made it, you know, kind of my number five, made it, you know, a top, one of the top matchups of 2009. You know, but anyway, that's my thoughts on the matchup. That was my number five fight for this year, or last, this last year. Um, Rogers and Tagua versus your York is Gamboa. For the Super Bandweight Championship. It took place like back in October. But anyway, my number four will be tomorrow. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.